Hello and welcome, Leo, to your December 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak, and my guest, Kyra Shaw. I will leave Kyra's uh, content details in the description box below. If you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, and share widely. I do not care if your friends aren't Leo. Share it, because they might know someone who is Leo. If that reading resonates with you, who knows with whom, with whom it will also resonate. Right, so do me a favor and um, and share widely because it helps the, the the channel to grow. In any case, what we will do here, Leos, we will divide the reading into sections. So what we will do is we will look into the overall energy for the months ahead, before we then look into emotional core, which means is there drama that can go, is there love coming in, that sort of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities, and opportunities for the most part are or will be about what sustains you financially? Okie dokie, Leos, are you ready? Good answer. Here is the <laughs> overall energy for the month of December 2022. Okay, so the first one that I pulled was uh, Reward Yourself. And this is just basically saying you've been giving way too much to yourself lately. You've been doing a lot for everyone, whether it's family, friends, partners, relationships. Um, you've just been giving way too much to yourself and now it's time for you to take that little bit of time back for yourself and reward yourself go out buy that ridiculous item that you've always wanted go out with your friends go and have like a meal just kick back even if it's just kick back have have a nice glass of wine if you drink um <laughs> read a book have a hot bath anything like that but you need to start taking that little bit of extra time for you because you've been doing too much for everyone else at the moment next card pulled was a creative project so usually when this card comes up you've kind of got a little, been a little bit stagnant and you need something to kind of like just bring that zest back into life for you do something that you enjoy maybe start a new hobby or finish like a project that you were working on or kind of like just find a creative outlet whether it's music art or reading writing anything it's just basically saying you need to bring that energy out and find something that Bring you a little bit of joy that you can kind of like get yourself stuck into and finally we've got the notice the signs so the guides are basically saying they've been sending you a lot of signs guys and you're not noticing so it could be feathers coins um songs on the radio stuff like that anything it's just that they're coming through thick and fast and you're not picking up on them so it's just here a little nice reminder just to say look guys we're with you just just keep an eye out you might notice white feathers after watching this video you might find coins on the floor and this is literally you guys just saying look we're here and we're with you thank you so much and also it sort of moves on quite neatly into the emotional core because you have what is called miracle miracles and joy and delight what that means is what i'm getting is is that the depiction on this card is pretty much like um 1001 nights whatever it's called and i get this literally so i'm not asking you to move to dubai if you're watching from <laughs> dubai nice move <laughs> the point is it feels to me that when it comes to your emotions you you have allowed yourself to become stagnant now remember leo you're the only sign of all the 12 signs that is governed by the sun the sun gives you extra drive the sun gives gives drive to everybody but because you are leo it nurtures you the most the problem with the sun is that the sun literally takes up over 90% of the space in the entire uh, uh, Milky Way, which means sometimes you can't bloody move, or you're not moving, or you are slow to move. So what I'm getting for you is a change of scenery. It doesn't mean you have to move there, but the, what I'm getting quite strongly for Leos, energetically speaking, is maybe to look into if, you, if there are conversations to be had with regards to how you feel, and you can have this conversation with yourself or with your partner. Don't have them in the same place. Find another venue, find another place to have these conversations because you have joy and delight as the outgoing uh, energy, which means if you make your points known, right? And you have miracles here, which means um, you, you don't have to expect, uh, you know, uh, a lot of difficulties when you make your points. I'm not getting any conflict here for you when it comes to acknowledging your emotions, but it's about more, more or less claiming. And the issue here is that you're claiming, but you're not necessarily sharing 
what it is you claim and you could actually leave people in the dark if that makes sense so there is this energy here where you are a typical leo which means you walk your perimeter right but you don't necessarily meet anyone <laughs> if that makes sense and as nice as this is that you keep your environment and those and the environment the environment for those you love safe there's a bit of isolation here for you and with regards to your emotions because obviously this depiction here has a little genie in a bottle wasn't there song once genie in a bottle what was her name <laughs> Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera. I had a big crush on her uh, 20 years ago. I yeah. think we all did. Yeah. Well, I thought she was amazing. Anyway, that's me, the fanboy, freaking out. <laughs> well, remember, uh, um, Leos, you are governed by the sun and you have a flower that is associated with you, which is the dandelion. Dandelion comes from French dandelion, which means the tooth of the lion. If you surround yourself with yellow, if you probably get yourself dandelions, and I'm not gonna, I'm not paid by anyone that provides dandelions for anybody, right? <laughs> so it's not a, pro, it's not a, a promo thing for anybody. But because Leos are governed by the sun, which means you have a directness to yourself, you want to get stuff done, and you want to see changes, using the symbolism that Leo affords you, which is yellow, which is the dandelion. Um, Probably even just having one in your sight can help you speaking up quicker. Now remember, this is about collars. Collar therapy is over 5,000 years old and has been used in all sorts of situations. Um, so because collars have vibration, you are beings of, being of vibration. Wouldn't it make sense for you to nurture yourself a little with yellow? Now yellow is also the third chakra. The third chakra has a musical note, which is the note E. All you need to do is go to Google and, 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 and type in healing music in E um, and that's what you're playing. And it just helps you um, letting go of stuff that really didn't quite work so that you can actually manifest these miracles into your life because energetically speaking, they're literally waiting for you to speak up. Which again is not quite Leo because Leo has no problem speaking up. So whatever happens that makes you almost like um, I'm sort of just petering out here with everything, that is the energy that you have to overcome. Okay? So, that was that. <laughs> now we're looking at your, um, at the opportunities that they present themselves to you in the months of December 2022, the last months of this bloody dreadful year. If I may say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> right? Not an easy year at all. <laughs> so, uh, the cards that I pulled followed on quite nicely from what you said. So, we got the um, Time to Go card. And I think that very much kind of like just follows on from saying that you need to kind of like step out there, step away from your perimeter and let people in, find those people. And we've got the Cupid card as well. So again, they literally just follow on from everything that Thomas has just said. And it's time to kind of like step back from your perimeter, allow people to come in and allow love to come into your life as well. You know, and it's it's there waiting for you. You can you just need to let it in basically. Which is actually a nice thing because there must, be, uh, there must be tons of people out there who just hope for a glimmer of that shit. <laughs> and in, here, in your case, it's waiting for it's you, waiting Leos. waiting for you. Right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please check out Kyra's information uh, in the, in the um, description box. And please mm -hmm. like, subscribe and share. It does help the channel. And um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and all that stuff. And we we'll see you in the new year. And if we don't, we'll find you. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> see you. See you next month. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>